Hey everybody, what's going on? Hill Gaming here, back with another tutorial. It's been a really, really long time since I've actually done a tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you how to make... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, alright, screw that. Um, so today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft server. Now, I know I've done this with Craft Bucket and stuff, but it's really confusing for a lot of people. So, I figured, let's just get back to the basics make a nice vanilla server then from there you can upgrade to a crap bucket server i think i just clicked off my desktop for a second hopefully that doesn't mess up the recording but um sorry if it does so yeah guys today i'm going to show you how to make a minecraft server so let's get right into it the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder on your um desktop wherever you want it and just name it server or something this obviously doesn't matter because it's not gonna make a difference about anything okay so once you have this you're going to want to go to minecraft.net and log in just like I have right there and now um, I don't know if you need premium to actually do this you probably do but basically what you're gonna want to do once you get there and log in is click game and then you scroll down they changed the website since the last time i saw it oh crap um <laughs> uh oh um oh oh i'm sorry okay you click download that was a bit of a fail okay and next what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to download the minecraft server 1.7.4 jar now um if you want to go an older version just click old show old download versions and those will all be there for the sake of this tutorial I am going to actually do 1.6.4 oh hold on wait cancel that I don't know okay well whatever um I guess I'm doing 1.7.4 then anyway that obviously doesn't work it's only for 1.5.2 I guess so um sorry my phone just went off so Basically, if you're going to want to do an older version than 1.7.4, you're going to want to actually search up on the internet. I'll find a link for that somewhere, but um, just search up like Minecraft 1.6 server jar file, whatever. Okay, so you're going to want to copy this code right here. Oh, for the love of God, make sure you have Java installed. So many people had that problem last time I did the tutorial. Uh, not that. Um, okay, and we'll click keep should download to my desktop fuck oh shit the downloads are slow okay while we're waiting for that god this is gonna be super confusing now okay well we'll set up everything else okay so what you're gonna want to do in your folder that you've just created is you're going to want to create a new um text document and then we're gonna just name this run there we go okay so you're gonna want to open that up and then um, basically just copy this code right here that I had on the website nothing special just Java XMX one I'll, I'll tell you guys how to tweak this later for better RAM location and stuff but you just paste that in there and then save that as run dot bat okay well Download's still going, so I guess I'll go through memory allocation. So, with memory allocation, it's a bit of a confusing thing, but once you get it, you'll be fine. So, um, basically, XMX is like the... Mm, it's either I think it's the biggest amount of RAM that it'll use, and then XMS is the smallest. So, it's like minimum to largest amount of memory it can use. Now, by default, it's only at 1 gig of RAM. So, um, if you want to update... If you want to uh, upgrade that, just type in the um, usage you want to do, like 2 gigabytes is 2048, 3 is um, uh, 3072, I might be wrong, but um, yeah, um, but the only thing that's unfortunate is if you have 32-bit Java, or if you just have 32-bit in general, um, it's only going to let you allocate one gig otherwise it'll give you a little error message that's like could not create virtual machine and then um yeah so if you have 32 bit just leave it where it is it's fine um maybe consider upgrading 64 bit because 32 bit 
does not really work well for server making. It, but if this is just a server for your friends, hey, go for it. It's fine. One gig is plenty enough for just a couple people. That's probably enough for like uh, 10, 10, 12 people. I mean, that's fine. So, yeah, you're going to want to save that as run.bat. I already did that. This is still downloading. Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know what to do now. It'll be done soon. Okay, so next, what you're going to want to do while we wait for that to finish is, um, let's just get this right out of the way. You, you're really supposed to do this after you launch your, like, Minecraft server .jar thing with the batch file you just made, but unfortunately that's not going to work, so, um, we're going to have to do port forwarding first because I don't want to just sit there awkwardly waiting for, like, the, um, thing to load. So, um, you're going to have to search up how to port forward with your ISP for this one. Now, I have Fios, so this is going to be kind of a Fios tutorial built in. But if you have Comcast, uh, Time Warner, I don't know, normal Verizon, I don't know if it's all the same, but I have Fios, and this right here is our gateway address. Um, so, if you have Fios, you just type that right into your search bar, like, URL bar thingy, and then it'll bring you to this page. Now, by default, the username and password for this is admin, and then password1. Um, so then you just log into that. If you can't figure that out, that's what originally happened with me. Like they had something else different. Let's just put this in here now. They had something else different than, um, admin password one. So I had to basically reset the router. I, I think it's a pretty easy fix, but I'm not really remember. I, I can't really remember how I did it. It was a couple of years ago at least. Okay, so what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to go to advanced and then click yes and then go to port forwarding rules. So basically what you need to do is you need to create a um, port forwarding like rule for a Minecraft server. The default port for Minecraft is 25565 so I'm going to do that if it's going to let me because I still have like the port forward stuff from my downstairs computer. So. I'll try. We we can see. Okay. So I'll just name this Minecraft Hill Gaming. Like that. And then um I think you have to put a description of some sort. I don't think there's spaces allowed either. Okay, so once you get that, all you need to do is click add server ports, select TCP, any single and then do 25565 or whatever port you're gonna do I think it has to start with like 255 and then do something something I, I'm I don't citation needed but um yeah I'm just gonna do 266 oh, sorry 25565 for simplicity and then just click apply and then I'm gonna do the same thing for UDP any single 25565 and then there we go. Um, you're gonna want to click apply now. If it lets me, I hope the god it lets me. It might not because I have a bunch of existing rules. Oh, okay, it let me. Okay. All right, guys. So what you're gonna want to do next is you're going to want to open command prompt and then type ip config. Basically, this is going to find your home ip. Um, it'll be under. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. What is it under? It's 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 the one at the top and then this one. So I must be 192.168.1.4. Um, that doesn't matter. That's not my actual IP. So you guys can't freaking hack me or anything. You'd have to be on like my actual like home address. But um, yeah, right here. This is your. This is going to be your IP address for um, setting up everything on the um, port forwarding screen. So. Now that we've got that, you can copy that, but I'm not going to. I can remember that. That's pretty easy. And then go to firewall settings, oh, back on your file thing, and then go to um, port forwarding. Oh, one other thing. You're going to want to make your IP a static IP address if you're going to have this like a dedicated server. If not, and you don't care, and you don't mind like checking your IP every couple like times. Because basically what a I static IP address does is it changes your IP over and over again. Um, basically, if you want to change that, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. I don't really have the time, to be honest. So I'm sorry about that. But 
it's it's really easy to search up on YouTube. Um, it's just basically literally going into command prompt and finding an IP that your network doesn't have and then adding that in and yeah, but I can't really remember how to do it, so I'm not going to show, show you guys that, so I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, so what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to select your IP from this drop-down list under firewall settings and port forwarding. So mine is 196 or 192.168.1.4. That's my PC. And then um, I'm going to go down and select Minecraft Hill Gaming as that is the port that we made. And then all you got to do is click Add. But unfortunately it doesn't work for me because I already have a 25565 server on my network so that shouldn't happen for you if you have any other servers on your network just go back to the previous like step and just change your port that's all there is to it so I'm, I'm just gonna pretend that I added that port to there and um, we'll go from there okay so what now that this jar file is finally finished downloading what you're gonna wanna do is just go and run that batch file you made and it should create a bunch of shit. I don't know why it's not. Hold on. If we put pause after this, we can see what's going on. What a fail. Okay. Um. Oh, that's right. Okay. So. God, I'm so stupid. Okay. So, basically, this batch file from the Minecraft code. God, that's they shouldn't have done that. That's retarded. Okay, so basically this Minecraft server dot jar, it's looking for Minecraft server one or er, it's just looking for Minecraft server dot jar, but we have Minecraft one point seven point four jar. So we're gonna need to just remove that one point seven point four from the end. I'm sorry guys, that's a that's a really important part, otherwise your thing won't work. I'll have to add that right at the beginning, like a little annotation or something. And then once you fix that, you're gonna wanna click run. Alright, it seems like it's working this time. Yeah, it's creating shit. Okay, so just allow access to everything. And I'm going to let it go through this process, and then I'll be right back. Oh, wait, it's done. Okay, never mind. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to want to just exit out of that like I just did. Then you're going to get the server.properties file. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this up. It's going to ask you what... Thing you want to open it with just open it with notepad or notepad plus plus if you have it I don't unfortunately so okay so it'll open up a screen like this this is basically your like most important part of your server file um, so um, basically generating generating settings I think that's just like the main settings Op permission ooh that's new I have no idea what that is they never had that before enable nether true level name I'll do it hill gaming enable query false allow flight false announce player achievements true all this stuff you can keep what you're gonna want to do though is find IP if I can have it okay and then you're going to want to put your um, IP you got from the IP config again mines 192.168.1.4 in there and then um, that's basically all you do okay so once you figure out everything you want in here oh online mode that if you change that to false that'll make it cracked um, and you don't really want that because people will grief the shit out of your server that's one lesson I learned and then you just save like that and then you exit out so once that happens um, you can click run again and I thought it opened up another screen besides this. But um, now that it's doing this, let's just check. No, it didn't open up another screen. See, with vanilla servers, it usually opens up a different screen. But um, now that we've gotten this, that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, one thing for extra, like, safe, though, is you should add a... Um, access through your firewall there's like times that it works and times that it doesn't work so I always just go to firewall you can turn it off or you can just um, go to advanced settings and then add an exception to the port on um, inbound I think outbound I'm not sure I always do it on both because I never really knew it what it was so that's that's all you do you just click advanced and then um, inbound rules add new and then um, click port and then 25565 five, 
Wow. So then you do that for TCP and UDP for both um, the um, inbound rules and outbound rules. I'm sure there's one, like, just main one, but um, I really don't know it. I, I've never really, like, known it, so sorry about that. Sorry about the confusion. So you just do that for outbound. I'll just do it because why the hell not? Um... Allow. Actually, I don't think it is outbound. But I'll do it. Why not? I'll, I'll do it for the hell of it. And then we only have one more. We'll do that UDP. Allow. Minecraft UDP. Okay, guys. So after you do that you're done you just have to start it up it's a lot easier than craft bucket in my opinion I feel like I'm forgetting something but I'm really not um, basically all you have to do is um, put your name in the op list and then you're good from there so I hope this helped um, if you guys think this helped you drop a sub button I'm basically doing a minecraft account giveaway at 500 subs 450, 500, I don't know. It depends on how fast my subs go up. I just decided to do it today. Um, so I'm doing a Minecraft giveaway at 500 subs. Um, also, sub if you like gaming videos because I make gaming videos like all the time. Just check out my channel. Watch some new stuff. I just uploaded a video not that long ago. So um, I, hope, I hope this helped a lot of you guys because um, on my Craft Bucket videos, some people are asking for like just vanilla. And that is how you make a vanilla server. There's no mods, no plugins, anything. I honestly would recommend making a bucket server. So check out my other tutorial for that. That's a while back, so I'll probably link that up somewhere. But I hope this helped you guys a lot. So if you enjoyed, if it's helped you, whatever. Just hit a, hit the like button. Leave a, um, co leave a comment if you had any problems. Because um, I'll definitely try to get to all of those. And then... Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another gaming video tomorrow with Warframe. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.